Yo, what's going on guys? Nasher here. We are back on the sacred ground. Yes, here at Tuttle Park. We filmed lots of good videos here. Well, today we are taking a blast to the past. So as you guys know, Christmas just passed and I was looking through my basement, opened up a box to put some Christmas lights away. And what did I stumble upon? You just wait. It is one of the most iconic Is It Trash products that we have ever used. This is the Franklin official NHL sponsored passer. So how this works, you take a ton of hockey balls, you toss them into the tube. <laughs> Uh, okay, we are now doing a bit of a durability test here on the Franklin self pasture. You may think that was planned. It was not, and it looks like we do have some damage. As I mentioned, you toss the hockey balls in here. They fire out here. You can set it in the corner, go for one tees if you don't have any friends to play with, and you're sitting there alone. You want to work on your one tees. This is the product for you. So we're going to come back, try this Is It Trash product for a second time, see if it withholds the test of time, and see if we can do any better with it. Let's go. All right, so I didn't have any hockey balls. We had to go to the store and pick these up. Uh, I want you guys to guess 12 orange hard hockey balls. How much we spent on these? It is an absurd amount of money. All right, so let's load this thing up. See how many we can fit in here. That's four. And it looks like a grand total of nine balls in here. So you can shoot nine one tees back to back to back. I think it does fire them off pretty quick from what I remember. Like you don't even really have time to set up for the second shot. But uh, let's turn this thing on and see how it shoots. Okay, you know what, safety first. We don't know how fast these balls are gonna be flying out here. We're just gonna go all nine of these, one tees, mid slot, try to hit some posts, try to hit some bar downs, and uh, you know, hopefully we can catch all these. I don't know, let's get it. I'm pretty sure this thing's made for like six year olds, so here we go, shot number one, top left. Heads up! And one ball out, that's a good shot though. Shot number two, they're coming at a good speed. Another rip, little top shelfer. Shot number three. I have not shot a ball since probably the last time that we used this thing. We've been using green biscuits out here. There we go, keep it nice and low. Three balls left. There we go, now we're ripping them. Two left, we're gonna go top right. There we go, and one more, here we go. Redirect, top left. There it is, little bar down, okay. So there's our first nine shots or so. We started out a little bit rough. We got accustomed to speed. They're actually coming out at a decent speed. I didn't know how it would hold up the test of time, but I'm liking this thing so far. Let's set it back up. You know what, this is just old reliable here. And you come back to it and it still works just as good as it did like three years ago when we filmed that first video. And obviously, you know, Franklin's not paying us to make this video. Franklin, if you see this and you, you happen to want to sponsor your boy, you know, I'm a big fan of the product. All right, let's hop into this. We grabbed some, we shot some bar downs, we were looking pretty solid. Now we have a couple new drills. So not only can you use this just for your standard one-timers in front, we're gonna try to get a little bit creative. So today, we have the passer on top of the net. These are gonna shoot out at us. So we're gonna be sitting mid-slot. We have to control the puck, hit it once, and try to hit any of these four corners. We've got 10 balls lined up, four targets that we can hit, and uh, let's see how many we get. Here we go. I'm gonna try to not use my skates. I think it'll be a little bit easy if we can just tap it to our skate. Obviously these balls are hard. They're gonna be bouncing a lot. We gotta really settle this thing down quick, use our stick, and then flick it up. Here we go. It's a little bit terrifying just sitting in front of this thing. I don't know how fast it's gonna come out or where exactly I should be standing, but here we go. Number one, settle it down, right off the bar and almost out of the ring. All good, that's one. Number two, three legs. Got a foot, and we're gonna try to not hit John in the head. <laughs> Number three. Ooh, just missed that top left corner. We're gonna start spawning in right now. Uh, Franklin? Oh gosh, <laughs> Franklin's making some weird noises. <laughs> oh no, wait. Don't point at me, dude. <laughs> uh, boys, we may have a bit of an issue. Flynn, wait, turn this off. 
No! All right, a little bit of a damage report here. We have cracked the front of Franklin. That looks like just cosmetic damage though, doesn't it? Why is this thing not working? I think this ball might be a little bit too far forward. Hold up, let's get both of these out. We hyped him up so much in the last Is It Trash video. Toss a comment down below. Leave a prayer for our boy Franklin. Just set this up, put a ball in, and hope for the best. Here we go. Hold on, release. Broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a tough day. Right now, the shooter portion is working, right? The issue is somehow this little thing, move it, and it shoots obviously pretty well. I don't understand how does this portion break when we hit it down here? There's cracks here, nothing up here was even touched, and it is uh, apparently not working. I mean, realistically, this may actually belong in the trash. RIP. Well, after about 15 minutes of, of doing everything in our power to fix this beloved, beautiful, crafted machine, we have determined that there is a gear on the inside that has either cracked or has popped out of position. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have John toss one ball in here, dump it down, just so we can say one last farewell to this machine that we love. We're gonna hit a target, call it a day, and then we gotta decide what we wanna do with this thing. Here goes nothing. My last time ever turning on our beloved Franklin. It's been a pleasure. That was a little awkward. Okay. All right. Last one ever from poor Frank. Here we go. Yep. Settle. Bang! My beloved Frank. We ended on a good note. He's still humming. You hear this? This guy doesn't even know that he's on his deathbed. He's treated us well over the years. You know what? Give me, I'm going till I miss. Give me one more. Here we go. Settle. <laughs> we have missed our last shot here with Frank. I gotta say, you know, having John manually go and push all the balls through the passer. It does kind of take away the point of the entire thing. I figure, you know, as a last farewell, I think this is what Frank would want. We're gonna toss him in the net, rip a couple shots off of his face here. There's cracks everywhere. I don't think this can be used anymore, boys. We gave it our all. Frank, we appreciate you. One last job. Here we go. That was not intentional. <laughs> Here he is. Um, we used some lace from the netting. We'll call it a video. I don't know what this video has become. We had all sorts of big plans and, and big drills in mind um, for Frank, and now we're here. Okay. Here we go. Shot number one. Walking in. How does it survive that one, but then I accidentally shoot a little chip shot on the rebounds and it breaks in half? Like, come on, Frank. Oh, there it is, our first piece. If anybody's in Columbus, Ohio, and you want a piece of history, tweet me this or send me an Insta DM. We're gonna leave this right here, inside the top of the net. Here we go. Oh my gosh, dude. Last ball of the bunch, 10 feet away. We gotta rip a clock around it, here we go. He's still hanging strong. You know, the balls that he came with did not get the job done. We are gonna grab a couple green biscuits, three more shots, call it a day. Well, we've had our fun. This video has been literally all over the place. We got two green biscuits, two shots, two opportunities. He's lucky. Dude, like, I'm looking for like a big explosion. All right, here we go. There's batteries flying, and he's still hanging on for dear life. All right, whatever happens, happens. This is the end of Frank. See that NHL logo just hanging right here? We're gonna go puck right off this. This is gonna fall. The batteries are gonna fly out. Frank literally might just burst into flames in front of our eyes. There it is. 
is fallen, but not forgotten. Well, that's gonna do it. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Again, apologies for what this turned into. We had big ambitions, and sometimes things don't turn out the way you plan. If you want me to go out and maybe purchase another Frank so we can actually show you what we're gonna do today, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, all in all though, this product is pretty solid, man. Obviously, you don't wanna be ripping shots at it. Maybe don't do what I did and put it in the net. If you put it behind the net, slightly to the side where you're less likely to hit it, you'll be all right. This is it for this episode. We will go and bury Frank over the trash can over there. Thank you for all the love over the years. And uh, here's to many more Is It Trash videos. Let's go. It's a sad day in Asher video history. We had a lot of good moments with this thing. Me and John even went back and watched the video of us filming this first one. Lots of good times, lots of bad. All good things must come to an end at one point or another. And unfortunately, this is the end. Unfortunately, this is the end. Hope you guys have a good one. Hit the video with a like if you enjoyed it somehow. Uh, toss a comment down below. And of course, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys next time, and peace.